on board El Galeon. This is a replica of a ship from Spain in the 17th century. We are inside the Admiral's room. It is a replica of what the captain's quarters would have been. And when this ship arrived in St. Augustine this afternoon, it came with a lot of fanfare. And on this special commemorative cruise out to meet the El Galeon. The Black Raven pirate ship of St. Augustine set out to welcome El Galeon Tuesday. We live here in Birmingham, Alabama. The Gamble family just so happened to be on vacation and be on board the pirate ship. They, they told us about this, this special opportunity and so we jumped all over it. And we just came to have fun and get an opportunity here. In the distance, on the other side of the Bridge of Lions, El Galeon was spotted coming into the bayfront. People came into downtown just to watch. Yeah, it fascinates me, all low boats. It's amazing, and I can't believe it's here in St. Augustine. This is exciting. <laughs> that is a beautiful ship. Beautiful indeed. Years of research went into designing the 17th century replica of a Spanish ship similar to the one used by Pedro Menendez, founder of St. Augustine. We bring the, uh, a piece of history for everyone to know and to see. The 170 foot ship sailed from Spain to Puerto Rico along the coast of Florida, making its final Florida port in St. Augustine. Most of the time we use the sails and the reason why is uh, the fuel is so expensive, <laughs> so we try to get advantage of the wind as much as we can. It's getting closer, Hannah. And right in front of the pirate crew and passengers, El Galeon barely sliced through the Bridge of Lions. It deserved a loud salute. All of this to help celebrate 500 years since Juan Ponce de Leon claimed Florida for Spain. Viva! 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 It's a sight to remember for everyone here and a vacation the Gamble family will always remember. I got, almost got tears in my eyes, that's the truth. That's <laughs> once in a lifetime experience we got just lucky enough to stumble into. You can also take a tour of El Galeon. Public tours start on Thursday and they run through June 9th. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, NBC 12, ABC 25.